everyone! Welcome back to Matthew David TV, ang YouTube channel na puno ng positivity. If you're new here, I do lifestyle videos, tech tutorials, unboxing, and gadget reviews. My main advocacy is to actually share my reviews para yung mga bibili sa Shopee, sa Lazada, will have additional information about the products that they'll buy online. So, if you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. In this video, we will be doing a review of a gadget na gustong gusto ng mga taong mahilig sa label. It's the Nimbut D11 Portable Bluetooth Printer. So, just keep on watching! So guys, during quarantine, isa sa mga goals ko was to organize all this huge pile of documents that I have at home. And it's a good thing na nakita ko tong Nimbut label printer. And based on sa advertisement, pwede kang mag-print ng mga various label. You can print one for your notebook. Pwede kang mag-print for your diary. You can even print labels for your kitchen. Yung mga different spices, pwede mong lagyan ng mga labels yon. Even electronic switches. Yung mga dulo ng mga switches, pwede mo rin lagyan yung mga dulo nun ng mga label using this machine. And if you're a small business owner, pwede mo rin lagyan ng mga presyo yung mga products mo using this machine. Lagyan mo rin ng label ang jowa mo para walang aagaw dito. <laughs> And the best part of this printer is it doesn't need ink because wow. it's a thermal printer and you just need your phone to connect to it para makapag-print ka. So to start things off, I got the Nimbut portable printer from Lazada. It costs 1,264 pesos. It was actually shipped um, from overseas. From the time na pinaste ko yung order, nakuha ko yung item ng 10 days after. Kind of note guys, na pag in-order yung Nimbut printer, hindi pa kasama yung thermal paper. But don't worry, the paper is available in the same store where the Nimbut printer is being sold. And there's actually variety of thermal paper rolls that you can choose from. My pink, my green, my blue, my white. And there's different cuts of the sticker paper. And based on the site, those um, sticker papers are actually waterproof. And it's also oil proof. So this is the thermal roll. It'll actually depend on the design that you will be getting. If it's 130 pieces, it's around 268 pesos. If it's 160 pieces, it's priced around 299 pesos. Now let's do a quick unboxing. Kindly note that I've already used the product and I just returned it to the original placement of the different items so that you'll have an overview of what it looks like when you open the box. So first, when you open the box, you'll see the user manual. Through this QR code, you'll be able to access the user manual para dito sa portable printer. Through this QR code also, you will be able to download the app for this portable printer. Then you will also see here, this one, it's the pouch for your portable printer. Then it also has a USB cord. It's actually a micro USB cord. Okay. The last thing in the box is the unit itself. So what I got is actually the pink one kasi ang gusto ko naman ay black pink. You know, para may iba, pink. Because why not, right? Again, it's a thermal printer so you don't need ink para makapag-print siya which is awesome. And sobrang gaang niya. Based on the website, it's only 208 grams. Parang kasayis lang siya ng power bank. You can connect to it using your phone. It has Bluetooth 4.0. It has a battery of 1,200 milliamperes, and based on the website, it can actually have continuous printing of four hours. Imagine, dami labas lang siya ng labas ng mga labels for four hours kaya niya yun. The print resolution is 203 dpi. And for you to have the full specs of this product, I'm placing it here for you to screenshot. All right. So if you're gonna look closely also, you will be able to see that this device has actually two buttons. The first button is at the side, which is the power button. The second button is at the top portion, which is which opens the compartment for the thermal paper. Dito mo lang, i-click mo lang to para ma-open yung compartment para ilagay mo dyan yung thermal paper. Now let's load the thermal paper. Let's just open this top portion here open it like, like this. So once you open the thermal paper compartment, you just get your thermal paper and shoot it here. And close it. And you're good to go. Ganun siya kadali. 
i-operate. Then, you just press the power button. Once you hear the sound, you can now connect it to your phone. But before we do that, please ensure na na-install mo na ang Nameprint app to your phone. You can download it from the App Store or the Play Store. Or you can check out this QR code on how to download the app. So now, let's connect the Nameboot printer to our phone. So all you have to do is turn on your Bluetooth device and um, click on the Nameprint app. So ayan, as, the, as we connect to the Nameprint app, Ayan, magkakaroon ng tutorial. So, lalabas, click here to set the papers, specification, and style. Ang niload ko sa thermal printer is yung pink one. Na set up ko na siya kanina. You can also scan label barcode. You can get the print paper size and style. Kanyari, ito. Itong isang hindi ko pa nalulood. Meron siyang um, sarili niyang barcode. Para mas madali sa'yo, na hindi mo na itatype yung kung anong size niya, isiscan mo na lang to para at least, para malalaman ng app kung anong size ng paper yung pipiliin niya sa selection. So, next naman is click here to edit the label content. So, ano bang gusto mong iprint? Gusto mo bang iprint yung name mo? Para saan ba yung label na ipiprint mo? So, just feel free to edit dito. And of course, this blue one, ito naman yung parang print. Okay ka na dun sa label mo, you're just gonna click this button. Alright, let's try it out. I'm not sure kung gumagana yung camera na nakatutok sa printer right now. Now, but um, naka screen recording tayo ngayon sa phone. So let's first try to print hello. So, ayan, nagprint siya. Baliktad pala yung camera. So, ayan, nagprint siya ng hello. So we can also print, kunyari, let's print Matthew David TV. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. So, let's try to print this one. Ayan. So, nakita nyo naman, nagpiprint siya automatically. Let's say you also want to print naman mga different spices in your kitchen. Let's say, paprika. Saka kami yung spelling ng paprika. Huwag <laughs> yun. Doon tayo sa sure natin yung spelling. Sugar. Ayan. You can just print any labels that will be applicable for your home. Kunyari ako, I was able to print various labels I used for the kitchen, for my documents. Aside from that, um, you can also print dates and you can use different fonts. So for example, you can use this font or this font, post around, clerical script. Yeah. You can also increase the font size para mas malaki siya. You can also pull an underline, gilid. Ayan. Pero mas maganda kung mas nasa gitna. Para makita nyo kung anong itsura niya, let's print it. Ayan. So makikita nyo mas bolder, mas malaki. So at least when you paste it, kung saan nyo gusto ilagay, mas makikita siya. And again, there was no ink use on this. It's really just the thermal paper. So, ganun siya kadali, ganun kabilis. You can print any labels for your, for the different stuff for your home, for your office, and for the different stuff that you need. Now, that's our quick demo for the Nimbot portable printer. Now, what do I like about it? I guess what I like about it, it's very small and portable. You can bring it anywhere. Next, sobrang daling gumawa ng labels with this device. Just connect your phone and you'll be able to do different designs, different fonts, different sizes with the device. And last, you know, there's no ink. You just need thermal stickers. They're actually waterproof so it's safer and you mas mahaba yung lifespan ng mga labels mo. If there is something that you need to be mindful of is the size of the sticker because right now, height ng sticker is at 12 millimeters. Alright? So that's something that you need to be mindful of. Now, if you're gonna ask me, Matthew, should I buy this portable printer? Well, for me, it was able to meet all my needs in terms of organizing the documents with all the labels. I was also able to organize my kitchen spices and some of my TV stuff. So for me, it's a yes, but assess the sizes of the labels that you need for your home. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Kaya niniwala ba kayo sa labels? When it comes to organizing, let me know your thoughts by commenting down below. 
Again, this is Magic TV TV. Nag-iwan ang kasabihan na if you believe in yourself, you will be unstoppable. Thank you guys for watching.